What is up everyone, and welcome to Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Remastered. So the original game came out on PS2, and is a game I beat eight times. I beat it once of each main character, and it's a game I always wanted to play, even back on my old gaming channel which is Razor XP Yu-Gi-Oh it used to be a gaming channel and I turned it into a Yu-Gi-Oh channel and even on that channel when it was a gaming channel I wanted to play the original game but I never got around to playing it on the channel but now I can finally play it and now I get to play the remastered version now this remaster is a lot better than other Square Enix remasters. So for example, the Pixel remasters, the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters, they didn't really change much about the games. Uh, it was basically the old game just with improved graphics. This remaster improves the graphics and also or improves the visuals, I should say. And adds a bunch of other features as well, like speed up. I guess the Pixel Masters had the speed up as well, but um, I think you can only do two times speed on the Pixel Masters. This one you can do up to three times speed. And also those new characters you can recruit in this remaster as well. So that's very awesome. So I'll recruit those new characters as we play through the game. So I won't really say their names now. Uh, you can also fight harder versions of some boss battles as well. And there's other... The UI is different as well. So they, they changed quite a lot with this remaster. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. Finally get to play this game after... Wanting, it, wanting to play it on the channel for so long. And as for my history with this game, I beat it eight times on the PS2 version. Once of each character. So. And you may think, that's a long time, right? Well, yes, the first, the first playthrough is usually your longest playthrough. Because you don't really know the game too well. But once you get the hang of the game... Oh, but I need to skip this cutscene because it's copyrighted. I can't show that cutscene, so. Alright. It has the remastered there too, nice. But yeah, um. Once you. If you, you play through the first. The first time playing through this game, it's very overwhelming, I guess would be the word to use here. Because you don't really. They just drop you into the world, right? And they don't really tell you what to do. You gotta figure out everything yourself, which. When I first played it, I was like, oh man, this is not, I don't like this game very much. But then once I learned the game and everything, it became one of my favorite games of all time. So if this is your first playthrough, just keep trying to play it, you know, just keep, keep going, you know. I highly recommend this game. Like, it is one of the best games ever made. It's in my top 10 favorite JRPGs of all time. Um, it is a really amazing game. But your first playthrough could be a little, it could be a little rough, you know. If you don't really know what you're doing, unless you're following a guide, then obviously you'll be okay. But, yeah, once you learn the game, it, it really is a phenomenal game. Oh, and also there's New Game Plus as well they added to this. Uh, the original game did not have New Game Plus. The only thing the new game, the only thing the PS2 version had, in terms of New Game Plus, is every playthrough that you did, you got more and more jewels. So your second playthrough, you'll get more jewels than your first playthrough. Your third playthrough will get more jewels than your second playthrough, and it just keeps going. And each playthrough, that each new playthrough that you do, you'll get more and more jewels. So. That's something that was in the PS2 version. 
I remember my last playthrough was Hulk storyline. I beat it in 18 hours because I was getting so many jewels at that point because I had beat it with all other seven characters. And in Hulk story, I had like, like I got him max class and I was just destroying things, you know. But anyway, we're going to start a new game here. Additional content on, of course. Come on now. Why would you want to turn additional content off? Look at the UI. Wow. It looks so much better. Wow. Is that 60 FPS too? It looks 60 FPS to me. Wow. This is amazing. Already, I can... So, if you're playing through the fir your first playthrough, right... I, I recommend you play with Albert because he has the most quest available to him and it's more streamlined, you know, like they basically tell you some things of what to do and everything. So for beginners, it's best to pick Albert. Um, but you can pick whatever character is your favorite as well. You'll, 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 you'll get through it. Um, when I was younger, I was like, I'll just be honest, I, when I was younger, I was stupid and I didn't really like, like I couldn't understand how the game worked because I was so dumb. Uh, but like I said, I eventually figured it out. Uh, you probably won't have that problem because you probably weren't as dumb as I was when I was younger. So, uh, you'll be alright. Let's just start up Albert's storyline though here. Dang, this is nice. Wow. Yeah, this will be relevant later. On your first playthrough, it won't matter. But on your second playthrough, you'll have multiple classes to pick from at the beginning. This is a starting class or frontier guard. You can also start as no class. And you get better stats, but it's not worth it. We'll go frontier guard there. And then my player name, Razor XP, of course. Wow, this is just... Sorry guys, I'm just like, I didn't expect this to be this good looking. Square Enix went all out with this remaster. We're gonna go... You can also decline to answer as well. We're gonna go male of course. You can also set the vibration to normal stronger off. That's something new as well because in the PS2 version you could turn it on or off. There was no strong vibration. We'll just turn it off, though. I don't like vibration. Progression normal or slow? What does that mean? Huh. Original Japanese version. I don't... I'm going to play the slow version because I don't really know the Japanese version. I never played the Japanese version. Yeah, we'll do the English version, guys, because I don't... The game is auto-saving when auto-saving... Oh, it auto-saves, too. Nice. This plays in the top left of the screen. Do not close the game until auto-saving is complete. Soft reset. Move before my soft reset when playing. Press L1, R1, and options. Unsaved data will be lost. Okay. Yeah, so I went through a lot of talking earlier, but hey. Upon a thin stretch of land between north and south of the fall stood Isthmus Keep. The kingdom of Rosalia and the Papal Empire had fought repeatedly over this strategic point. But now, the keep was under Rosalian control. Lord Rudolph and his wife, Mariah, ruled the Isthmus. Diana was their daughter. This was her brother, yep, Albert. There. And this is his story. Yeah. I'm coming in. 
So yeah, the whole game is voice acted, by the way, as well. Like... Like, even the NPCs in this game that you talk to just in town are all voice acted. The whole game is literally voice acted. Alright, so, wow, the UI is... Oh, this is nice. This looks totally different, guys. If you played the original game, you know this is totally different. Smoke bomb pouch, that's new. A special pouch containing smoke bombs. Enable the user to flee from... Okay, so... A problem with fleeing from the enemies in the original game... Was it used life points. To, based on how many characters you had in your party. So if you had a full party of five, right? Because you can have five characters in your party in this. As you can tell here. Um, if you had five party members, you'd use five life points to... Flee... And that was a big problem with the game. You couldn't really flee. Because you don't want to lose life points. Because if you lose life points, your character dies. Not just dies, dies permanently. There is a way to bring them back. But, um, it's pretty much, it's very difficult to do. So, when a character dies, it's pretty much they're gone forever. It's very hard to get them back. Uh... And then, first aid kit. Yeah, Albert starts with a dress sword. We also get some armor at the beginning here. Buckler. Wow, guys, you've got to buy this game. Like, like, stop what you're doing right now. Stop watching this video right now and go buy this game. Like, holy crap. I'm just blown away at this. Wow. I cannot believe they went all out on this. Like I'll be I'll be critical of Square Enix when when I feel like like with the Pixel Remasters, they were meh. You know, but this remaster here is tier zero, like best remaster ever made. I'm putting that in the title, too. I don't care. Like, I'm just being real. This is amazing. Like, I'm literally blown away. Like, wow. Alright, well. Holy moly. They didn't have to go this all out. Uh, how do we do the speed... Okay, R3 speeds it up. It has auto run too? Wow. That is awesome. So it's two times speed out in the field, and I guess three times speed in battle. Yeah, and you could... By the way, you can save it. This, this is something you could do in the... Um, Well, you couldn't save it anywhere in the original game. So this is like a... This ain't a quick save here. This is actu an actual save. But in the original game, you could go to the menu here and there'd be a quick save option. And you could basically save it anywhere. And you, just, and you can load that quick save anytime. You know, in some games where there's like a quick save, but you can only load it once. And then it deletes itself. In this game, you quick save. It's almost like a legit save you know and then just press L2 and you can create a quick save this staff is one of Dismas's most valuable relics not even Prince Albert himself is permitted to touch it wow this I'm sorry guys like I can't like I'm in awe of how good this is this was not what I had planned Square Enix actually caught me off guard with this. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, Lord. This is one of my favorite games, so... I know this game like the back of my hand, and... The fact that it's 
blow me away like this is insane. Just the two of you? Diana, suitors will soon come asking for your hand. No longer may you spend your days in idle swordplay. And ere long, Albert will have his right of adultery. But Rosalian tradition is that women fight too. Father, Albert needs training. An adult cannot stand on years alone. Oh, you're stubborn as ever. Guards, go with them and make sure no harm comes to them. Okay, so we have to go to the caves and we get some guards to join us. Now we will have to fight a boss in the cave and it's actually pretty difficult. Yep, we got quest log now as well. Well, the quest log is in the original game too. But it looks so much better in this game. Oh, and it shows the allies you've recruited. Wow. All right, but yeah, we got up the top quest. Eliminate monsters from the cave east of Isthmus Keep. Okay. And we can check out Diana here. Remove the jerkin. Uh, well, actually... Well, yeah, I think it is wise to remove the jerkin. You want to remove the bombs from them, too. Um, if I have to heal, I'll use first aid. So when a character dies in a romance a saga game, you can actually bring them back with any healing item that you have. And stay alert. Take care, children. I think it is wise to remove that uh, jerkin, though. From Diana. At first, you don't have to. Oh, it auto saves every time you enter a building, enter an area. I know we can go this way later. I think we can come back here and enter this room later. I don't know if we can enter it now. Nope. Nope, you can't. All right. But yeah, later. Uh, yeah, and you can also save it here. If you want to go back and save it. But you can save it anywhere anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, let's go ahead and leave. I'm doing speed up, by the way, but we're awake. No goblin will get past us. We're awake. No goblin will get past us. We're awake. No goblin will get past this. Oh, you can enlarge. Oh, that's cool. You can enlarge the mini map too. Yeah, you got a mini map now. Uh, by the way, it says fine chest. That's known as proficiency. Um, so if you go to your menu here, we don't have but this proficiency, but as you level this up, you'll get more uses out of it. As you can tell, I got two of three, uh, but if you add more proficiencies, you can get up to five. If you add more, uh, you'll increase the amount that you can use. So let's say I have, let's say I get another proficiency that has two, right? And I put it here, right? Then I'll have four usage usage. So that's how that works. We'll we'll get more proficiencies later. Uh, we don't have but one right now. But yeah, we're supposed to go to this cave over here. Oh, and it even shows the enemies on the world mini map too. That is awesome. Okay, so you can, um, from here, you, this is something new. You can actually retreat using smoke bombs, but obviously we'll go into battle here. Wow, the UI and the battles are different too. If you use a smoke bomb, it uses one of the smoke bombs instead of, um, life points. In the original game, you escape, it uses life points, so... Albert starts with Cosmology, which is a spell type in the game. There's different spell types in the game. I'll go over those later whenever Focus. we unlock them.
Please support this game, though. Like, buy this game, guys. Like, legit. Like, please buy this game. Like, I ain't never asked someone to buy a game before. And I'm not sponsored by Square Enix to buy this game. I just feel like you should buy this game. Like, buy it. Like, I am amazed at this. So we're going to fight every enemy here. But this game does have an, a, a battle rank and an event rank. If your battle rank gets too high, you'll miss out on you'll miss out on quest. Um, which obviously is bad. You don't really want to miss out on quest. But I do recommend you fight every battle to get get some stats up because you gain. So the soccer games, you gain stats after battle. You don't level up or anything like that. You just gain. You sometimes gain stats after battle. And yeah, we got new to me here. Spinner, they can like slow you down. They have like a web attack. I can slow you down. Now, I'm not sure what the progression system was. You know, it said like Japanese version. Great. There we got chests. Some chests are rigged in this game with traps. So you got to be careful opening certain chests. Or else it might be rigged with a trap. Now it did say three times speed. I'm not sure why we can't go three times speed. Like it said three times speed on the thing. That I was watching. I guess you can't do three times speed though. Let me slow it down because you got new enemies here. So, Ripper, they can blind you. The pit vampires do a lot of damage. So you want to kill them first. And then the mantis can, like, I think lower your intellect or something. Or it might be another mantis later that can do that. But yeah, the bird can be kind of annoying because it can blind you. Okay, these don't lower intellect. It's one of the ones later that do. So I recommend you get rid of the pit vampire first. And then that would probably get rid of the bird. But they ended up getting rid of the manti first. But didn't really matter. Again get rid of the pit vampire first. Yeah, Glimmer. So yeah, Albert learned Impact Slash there. He permanently learns that as well. If you ever get a Glimmer, which is what just happened, that's how you learn new skills in the game. So now, as you can tell here, he can use Impact Slash, but he doesn't have enough battle points. Or, yeah, about, yeah. Yeah, not enough BP. Uh, he only starts with three. Uh, so he can't really use it right now. So I'll show you here. Let me defend. Let me defend up everybody real quick. And after after one round, you will um, gain BP. So now he has five, as you can tell, at the top left corner. He gets plus two every round. Uh, he gets plus two, Albert does. As you can see, Dinah has plus three. So every round she gets three battle points. So. Yeah, so if you ever need to gain battle points, just defend. And on the next round you'll get, you'll get some battle points. Alright, so we got a false coming up ahead here. So you want to make a save file. I recommend you do this because 
This boss is pretty difficult. I'm just letting you know. I've actually got a game over to this boss before, so. Just letting you guys know. about to take on the first boss here. Save it for doing that. Alright. And it's boss time against Demon Scout. DP consumption. Using this item will consume DP durability points. Note values in yellow mean no DP may be consumed. DP can be replenished by repairing or tempering with weapons at ends, blacksmiths, or synthesis. If an item's DP falls to zero, it cannot be used again until it is tempered or repaired. If you improve your skill or a weapon's durability, the amount of DP required to use it will decrease. Yep. So we'll go ahead and... We obviously want one time speed against boss battles. Yeah, this is Demon Scout. Sometimes it's pretty difficult, honestly. Yeah, because this attack here, it's all your characters. Yeah, it's pretty disgusting for a first boss to have such a powerful move like that. Uh, we can do Impact Slash. Okay. BP Consumption. Using this item will consume BP battle points. BP will replenish at a set rate each round, but cannot be carried into the next battle. Yeah, so you automatically reset to your base BP every battle. Use these points wi wisely and effectively. Displays on the lower right. Example, 3 over 10. And then you get plus 2 every round. Here the current BP is 3 of a possible 10. The plus two indicates that two BP are replenished each round, yep. Oh, we'll just attack here. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'd rather do that than, uh, than the AoE. If it keeps spamming that AoE, we'll just die. Inactive. A party member has become inactive. HP equals zero. If you have bomb or healing magic to restore HP, the party member be able to fight again. However, if you leave them this way and they are attacked again, they will lose LP, life points. Short for life points. If party member's life points reaches zero, he or she will be removed from the party. Keep this in mind as you do battle. Yeah, they permanently die. There is one way to bring them back, but it's very difficult to do. So, So we can actually use first aid and we can bring back that soldier if we so desire. Sucks that he took out a... Uh, um, ooh, Bone Crush, that lower strength. It's actually a decent move there. Bring back Bar... Uh, Diana there. Now first aid uh, is permanent. You can actually restore it at, at the ends and everything. So you don't have to worry about running out of first aid. Uh, but if you use a bomb, uh, it's gone once you use it. It's a one-time use. So you have to buy more bombs if you... Uh, if you want... If you want to get... You have to buy more bombs if, if you use them. Anyway, that was the first boss of Romancing Saga Minstrel Song Remastered. Alright, there we go. Excellent work. We did it. Hmm, what is that? Well, I know what it is.
Yeah, I know what it is. I'm not going to tell you guys. That would be a major spoiler. Let me just tell you that much. Purge. Okay, eliminate monsters from the cave east of Vismus Keep. Purge the monsters, but found odd markings on the wall. Yep. Yeah, I would not be able to tell you guys what that is. Or else I'd spoil pretty much the entire game. Let's just, let me just say that. <laughs> but yeah, we can go ahead and leave here now. But I'm going to end the video here. In the next episode, we'll continue Albert's storyline. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. Later.